So today, we're gonna fix the log jam problem here in the studio. I'm gonna get rid of all this out of the top shelf, and I'm gonna go get containers to put all this stuff in to organize. Now, I can't categorically organize all this stuff because it's hard to like alphabetize it or to put it by category. So I'm gonna put it in things that are like the things in and around that box. I know that's confusing now. It's gonna make sense when I start doing the organizing of it all. Okay, let me run a Home Depot and get everything that I need. Actually, there's something I gotta get first. Okay, well that's uh, that's better. Get my morning frappuccino. So here's the plan. The plan is I'm gonna go get boxes to put up here to organize everything. I did it before in the old when I when I first set this up. I did it then, and it didn't really work out. I have an idea on how I can make this work. I have to head to Home Depot to get the box. Okay, so today's like a studio infrastructure video. Let's head to Home Depot. At Home Depot, we're gonna grab all the boxes I need to organize the log jam. I'm thinking I'm gonna do eight boxes and here's how it's gonna happen. I'm thinking I'm gonna do four at the bottom and then stack four on top. And I don't know, I'm gonna figure out the depth because that shelf right now, it's like two, three, two or three boxes deep. So it's a pretty deep shelf. But I might not go all the way back to the wall and have a little area back there, which I don't mind. That's, that's the plan. So I found these, which, that actually could work. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need eight of them. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go with these. I also, where are they? I think they're over here, I'm I also need these. All right, so that's six of them. I can probably fit one more here, seven. I'm gonna have to come back later for an eighth. Okay, now that all the boxes are in, I have to take everything off that shelf in there, put it in here, replace all those boxes with these boxes, and this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna just do a time lapse. Boxes. Here's all the log jam. I need to start sorting and then I got to figure out where it's gonna go in here I'm gonna leave the snare drum in here. Oh, I gotta take this down But I'm gonna leave the snare drum in because that's just like the easy spot to put it And I'm gonna put all the boxes here, but so I got to organize all the log jam But I have a special guest on the phone. It's Ryan. Say hi Ryan Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so now I gotta organize and talk to Ryan at the same time. Okay, there's one small problem. It's okay. I can work around it. I didn't do exact measurements, I just kinda eyeballed it, and so this is this is the issue. These boxes are just too small to stack on top of one another. Like here, look, ready? Okay, ready? So ready? Like, oh come on. Like, just, 
I could probably then they're also just too large on the on like just too deep so I can't stack them in front of each other but I, I don't want to do that anyways because I want to be able to read what they are I'm gonna go grab another one if this is all the painting supplies and stuff oh that's not all right so I guess the snare drum's got to come out okay uh, you're gonna have to give me a little bit I'm gonna try to do some problem solving here off camera because sometimes it's hard for me to think of the shot think of what to say and problem solve all at the same time I'll be right back I'm gonna problem solve okay problem is solved here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna save I'm gonna use these three boxes I'm gonna get more pelican cases like this one I'm gonna do one two three four five six down the line call that kind of done um, I was thinking about putting lighting right here I'm probably gonna have to do that to brighten the top up as well so that's good. So I got some cleaning up to do in here. I'm gonna have to return four boxes here, but all the boxes that were here are now here. All right, I kind of like this. It kind of shows the equipment in the studio. And so, I don't know, that's where I put the boxes. And I'm not 100% sure how I like it. I might just have to get used to it. It honestly kind of just took a Christmas tree full of boxes. I don't know, I, I kinda, I, I, I do kinda like it. Um, I got a meeting to go to now, so I'm not gonna bring the camera with me, but I'll come back and finish up the project on camera. Okay, I'm back from my meeting, and while I went out, I've already set it up so I can like, see if it works and see if I like it. Let me show you. I got four more Pelican cases. Um, a little bit different size than that. They're a little bit bigger than that actually, but I got four of them and I might leave this one alone because what I like about this is I can do this and that and pull out one and then I can take out the whole thing so I don't have to like remove a lot. But, but this is the new system to remedy the log jam situation that was in the studio. It is now remedied. And I'll walk you through kind of how I set it up. Okay, the first one is hooks, mounts, tape, well, extra tape, zip ties, string, Velcro. So this is a lot like building tools, so things I need to be able to mount things on or attach things to other things. That's what this is. Up here, these are all the rack screws. Rack screws are, rack screws are like these type of screws to like mount things into a rack. So that's like a mounting supply section right here. Next to it, we have spray paint stencils, label makers, gloves, and multi-tools, like different types of multi-tools. So what this is, is like stuff, like once you mount something to something, you then you have to either spray paint it or label it or kind of whatever you need. So this is like the tools in order to finish the project that this was started with so that's here all right then we have my log tripod thing that just sits there for now um and then here's all the camera camera supply extra things there's hdmi cables usb-c cables microphone accessories solder you know camera mounts power supplies smart supplies like a smart home like anything that's like the smart like thermostat extra stuff or outlets or anything and then regular light bulbs and then up top up here we have lens accessories and glide cam accessories because that's all because that's all camera parts so it's like building supplies and then you can you know you make it and then you film with it so it's kind of set up this way right now this one this one and that one are empty for anything else that I would need but that's the new setup. So this right here is the new remedy for the log jam situation here in the studio. Um, I'll, be, I'll be using it a lot more obviously while I keep pulling things in and out of it to fix things or to work on new projects and I'll see how it feels and see how I like it. If I don't like it, I'll tackle that when I get there but I'll figure out another solution. But I think this is pretty good as of right now. Um, I haven't put lighting in there yet 
Um, I'm, I'm still working on that. I don't even know if I even want lighting in there because it's kind of just like deep storage, not pretty to look at. Um, it's more functional than for looks. So I might not even light it up. I kind of like how it is right now. Um, I also feel like I never really explained log jam. I'll, I'll just put it in the description. I'll put the definition of log jam in the description below. So if you want to know what log jam is, read it down there. I don't want to take up precious video time. Okay, anyways, thanks for joining me for this video, and I'll see you on the next one. I guess that's the sign off, right? Do I have to sign off every single video? I feel like I never know how to sign off these videos. I, I just.